right, hey everybody. Well, here we are. We're gonna we're gonna quickly try to walk you through as fast as I can uh, the software and the steps that I take to basically clone this drive to make an exact replica so you can swap it out. Now, mind you, this is my computer up in my shop. Your situation could be different. If you have any doubts about what you're doing, you know, feel free to send me an email. If you're not sure what hard drive to get and you do have a retail electronics store, like I said, power everything down, pull your hard drive out, and bring it with you to the store. I would think that somebody working in a, uh, in a computer electronics store is going to be able to assist you in the correct compatible drive, okay? Well, let me bring up the, uh, let me bring up the software, okay. This is Seagate's website, and this is basically where I went in the uh, the actual owner's manual that came in the box they gave me seagate.com forward slash support forward slash downloads forward slash disk wizard okay right here you actually see and it's free use software you will by no means will you find any affiliate links in here okay I will put the links in in the appropriate places so that you can go and check them out I feel though that you don't have to specifically have a Seagate drive in order to do this, all right? The steps I took are right here. Now I've also uh, I've also blown this up. There's a there's a nice description right here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring you uh, to the actual software screen itself, okay? Once you go in and you click the link and you download it, you open it up. This is what the uh, this is what the user interface of the UI looks like, okay? You're going to want to click on clone disk, all right? It's going to come up with two options, manual, running in automatic. What it's going to tell you is that all partitions from the source hard drive will be copied to the targeted disk and a few in a few simple steps your new hard disk will be made bootable, which means you can swap it out and start it right up. Your existing partitions will be automatically resized to fit, which is not going to be of any consequence to you because this is, in fact, a brand new drive out of the box. Okay, if you choose to use another one, they're going to basically allocate a new space in which to put this clone on. Okay, you scroll down a little further, and what it's going to do is select the source hard disk from below. Now, in this case, this individual looks as though they have four hard drives, okay? Now, if you've only got the one, it's going to most likely come up as your C drive. You will highlight it. You will click Next. What it's going to do now is it's going to look for a destination. Now, I showed you up in the shop. You can basically take your side panel off. You will need to hook up your correct power supply. And you will also need to hook up your data transfer cable, which may be the only second item you have to buy. Please do not let a retail salesperson snooker you into having to buy. You need this piece of software. No, you don't. Okay. I've got two other two other programs that I will show you that will clearly do this, just like this one. This one, though, in my opinion, it worked very simple, and obviously. The computer's back up and running with a brand new clone drive, and it's communicating with the CNC equipment rather flawlessly, okay? You're going to basically select where it's going. Your computer is only going to show you, when you plug in that other one, it's going to show you C drive and whatever the, the letter is assigned to the other drive. Well, that's your destination drive, okay? You're going to basically, with a new drive, you're going to click OK. It will tell you that you know it may end up erasing if you use an older drive or a backup that you have kicking around it may end up deleting whatever's on it so in this case again it's not applicable because it is a brand new hard disk drive okay now the only thing I'm going to tell you with with this piece of software and the other two that I'm about to show you is when you do clone the drives they need to be of the same size that was in the computer or larger. Now, in the shop's computer, it was a 500 gigabyte drive. I upgraded to a one terabyte because that's all they had, and I didn't want to wait and be down for the entire week, okay? And in some cases, it's better to have and not need than need and not have, okay? 
You're going to review the operation summary screen here below. It's going to tell you basically uh, the source drive, the target drive, how much volume is going to be put on, and that's pretty much it. You click proceed. Uh, mine took between 30 and 60 minutes. It was done. And it also coincidentally, uh, I didn't require any extra steps above and beyond, all right? So we're going to close this out now. And there's a gazillion videos out there that will walk you through a physical step-by-step -step on YouTube. You know, by all means, there's a lot of knowledgeable people above and beyond me, by all means, all right? The other piece of software which I can recommend and I personally have used uh, I backed up a, a Vista operating system on my laptop one time to put a much larger hard drive in it, and that was uh, todobackup.com, okay? Uh, there is a free download, and basically what I'll show you down at the bottom here, you have three options, uh, a free version, a home version with a free trial, or a full uh, to-do backup workstation for a business, small business. The free one is going to work flawlessly. Backup and restore speed. And the other function that it does is it will clone disk and migrate operating systems to either a solid state drive or a hard disk drive. HDD is pretty much what most of us run. It's like the one you saw me holding up in the beginning of the video, excuse me. Solid state drives are nice, okay? But if you compare the two of these, there is, uh, in some cases, an exponential cost. SSDs are solid state drives. The longevity of them is a lot longer. They, they last a lot longer. And I think data transfer in and out of them is quicker. But again, I've never owned one, not because I don't like them, basically because I can't afford them, okay? So this, is, uh, this link will also be in. You can download the free version, okay? I have personally used this. And it works, in my opinion, pretty well. All right, clonezilla.org. Again, you'll have this link. This one uh, is an open source. It is compatible or similar to True Image or Norton Ghost. It will basically do what the other two did. Uh, I will vouch for Seagate. I really liked it, as well as the, uh, the one just before this. But it's entirely up to you. Okay, I would recommend those two. I've never personally used this one, but I love the uh, I love the hardworking individuals that create the open source to share with everybody. That's that's pretty awesome. All right, now whether you do this before or after, uh, I did it after. I will also recommend uh, a driver booster. Okay, people are wondering right now, Steve, what are drivers? Okay, according to Wikipedia, a device driver is a computer program that operates or controls a particular type of device that is attached to a computer. The purpose. The main purpose of device drivers is to provide abstraction by acting as a translator between a hardware device and the application or operating system that it uses. Okay, You constantly see device uh, driver updates, whether it's hardware or software, whatever the case is, uh, I would recommend this product. You can put this, uh, you can put this uh, on your computer after you've cloned your drive. Get everything updated. It will, it will help your, uh, your efforts in running smoother. And then last but not least is I run a defragmentation piece of software outside of the one that comes kind of standard with your operating system. I'm coincidentally running Windows 7 Professional, okay? <clears throat> and basically a disk defragmentor, defragmentor is designed to increase access speed by rearranging files stored on a disk to copy different mediums and, and different uh, pieces of information uh, in storage location. It reduces and minimizes head travel, which reduces the time it takes to read files uh, and write files to the disk. All right. It basically, in my opinion, it just helps to tidy everything up. Okay. Now, I hope this was useful. Again, if you ever have any questions, you can shoot us an email, Steve at littlelittlewoodshop.com. Anything that you just watched is also applicable to your home computers. 
if you have a laptop, you know, or a desktop. I can't really vouch for handheld devices like your, your phones or, or whatnot, uh, tablets. But this works for me. Uh, I hope it works for you. And even if your drive currently isn't showing any signs of wear and tear or it's going to conk out, ounce of prevention is worth the pound of cure, everybody. So, as always, thank you so very much, everyone, for all your support. You know, I appreciate uh, my followers and my subscribers uh, so very much. You guys rock. You're awesome. All right. So, we've, we'll put the stills in after this, and uh, we'll mark everything up with arrows and literature and all the correct... Uh, what to do and not to do, okay? It's going to be a pretty easy walkthrough guide that I hope you guys won't have a problem with. And again, you can always shoot me an email. All right, everyone, take care. Enjoy your week.